Central Lending Library to the Washington School Library for Miss Richard's class. All these books about Mexico. They're fine looking books, aren't they? And they're just a few of the many books that we can find in our libraries. Have you ever wondered why we have so many books? To find the answer to this question, let's go along with Fred and George. Miss Richards' class has been waiting for the books for several weeks. And here they are, just in time for the beginning of the free reading period. Now, if you were choosing a book, what are some of the things you might want to know about? First, how do we get fun from books? Second, where can we get books we want? And third, how should we care for books so as to have fun with them? Well, let's start with the first question. Let's notice some of the boys and girls in the class to see how they get fun from books. What kind of a book has Mary chosen? It's a travel book about Mexico. She wants to learn something about the interesting places. Mary certainly seems to be having fun with her book, doesn't she? One of the reasons is she imagines the scenes described by the words of the book. From small shadowy canals come canoes, big and little, some loaded with vegetables, others with baskets of glorious roses, calla lilies, carnations, violets. To see the garlanded boats is a breathtaking sight. On some of them are musicians who play old traditional Mexican songs as the boats glide along the water. What a strange watery place to live and work is this lake village where each boat is like a floating garden. Do you see how imagining the scene helps make the reading more fun? and it's helping Mary to learn interesting things. Mary wants to be sure she has understood what she has read. That's why she takes time to think about it and to review. Using books to learn is one of the ways to have fun with books. Are there other ways? Let's see how others use books. George seems to be enjoying his reading. What is his book about? Well, a book about exploration. No wonder George finds it interesting. Does he imagine the scenes described by the words? As I made my way carefully along the trail, I suddenly came upon an ancient Aztec temple. There it stood, a tremendous pyramid built by men who had lived hundreds of years ago. As I approached it, I saw stairs that seemed to run up to the sky. And all along the sides of the temple, I found carvings of strange and wonderful animals. George does imagine the scenes. He feels as if he were sharing the adventure. Using books to share experiences is another way to have fun with books. Are there still other ways? There's Elaine. She seems to be having fun, but what is she doing? She's drawing a picture of a Mexican girl and boy. But what kind of a hat does a Mexican boy wear? Elaine looks again in a book on costumes to find out. Yes, here is what Elaine wants. She found it quickly because the book is carefully organized for ready reference. She's using books for reference. Are there still other ways to get fun from books? What is Fred reading? It's an adventure story. He's reading it just for pleasure, reading for the enjoyment alone. The airplane rests motionless on the Panama field like a great bird ready for flight. Soon we shall be flying over the land of the Aztecs for the last time. It is a perfect day for flying, not a rain cloud in sight. 
Nothing left to do but open the throttle and head for the open sky. Where to? Why not fly over the Valley of Mexico once more to say goodbye? Can you see how much pleasure Fred's book is giving him? Here's another value. Using books for pleasure reading is important to getting fun from books. Yes, you can get fun from books by using them to learn, to share experiences, for reference, or for pleasure reading. That's the answer to our first question. How do we get fun from books? Where can we get books we want? That's another thing we want to find out about books. Well, Fred has finished his book. Now he'd like to go to the library to get another book from the class list. Which one? He wants to read about Juarez, the great hero of Mexico. And Miss Richards thinks that would be a good book for Fred to get. She agrees that he needs to go to the library again. Let's follow him and find the answer to our question. We've already noticed that the library has many books we can read. By just following the library rules, as Fred does, we can get almost all the books we need. Fred likes to ask the librarian when he has a question about books. And it helps. Someone else is using the book that Fred wants, but the librarian can reserve the book for Fred so he'll be able to have it next. Librarians are eager to help you get the books you want. Where else can you get the books you want? On his way home from school every day, Fred passes a bookstore. You see, some books you want to keep and own. And a bookstore is one place where you can buy these books. Well, what book did he buy? Mexico. That's the kind of a book to own. Besides buying books, you may borrow them from friends. George and Mary and Fred often borrow books from one another. It's a good way to get to read more books, and if we take good care of the books we borrow, our friends won't mind lending them to us. Yes, libraries, bookstores, and friends are some of the important places where we can get the books we want. How should we care for books? What about a fine new book like this one of Fred's? Fred knows that new books must be broken in right if they are to be kept in good condition. You take small sections of the pages and lay them out against both covers. You work this way until you reach the middle of the book. Now the binding won't crack as the pages are turned. And in the inside cover, Fred writes his name and address very carefully. Now if Fred keeps it neat and clean, and from his book for years, kind of a book Fred can use for experiences, answers to our questions, how do we get fun from books? Where can we get books we want? How should we care for books? There are all sorts of wonderful things waiting for you inside the covers of books. Have you discovered how to have fun books?